Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy log series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we managed to get our first trophy fish. In this episode we are after our first carp trophy, the elusive gibble carp. But before we start trophy hunting, this is the fun spot segment of the video, where I try your random spots on different water bodies. The fun spot in this video is at 102, 109 on Winding Rivulet. Here I'm trying to catch anything with my feeder rod. The clip size is 15 to 19. For the bait, I'm using casters and red worm and hook size 20. So as you can see, I have something pretty big on right now. Let's see what it is. Yep, that just happened. Meanwhile, when I fish at the fun spot, I will also level up my bait harvesting and ground bait skills. So here's a quick overview what I managed to catch from the fun spot. A decent roach. Nothing. So I managed to unlock some new baits in the meanwhile. A rare fish, a blue bream, another not so common fish, an ace. Something pretty big that was spooling me. It was a new personal best bream. And the biggest surprise around this spot, a trophy rough. What the hell? How? Please explain it to me. To be fair, money wise, this was a pretty decent spot. We got 69 silver in one night. We managed to get a trophy. Unfortunately, it's not in a trophy log, but oh well. Now let's start with the trophy hunt. First, we need some ground bait. For Gibble and Crucian ground bait, we need crown crackers, millet porridge, and sunflower oil. For the hook bait, I think I will try with semolina first. And if I don't get anything, I will try with wet bread, night crawlers, and sweet dough. It is a lovely day at Mosquito, so let's set up our feeder rods. For the hook size, I will use hook size 8 right now, but I think you can go as low as hook size 1. The clip should be here, 8 or 10, I will go with 8 first. If I don't get anything, I will switch over to clip size 10. Let's get all three of our rods out. I also have one available point, so I will use it for a simple rig, so we have a better chance at getting a trophy. And here we go, our first fish. This is pulling pretty hard. If this is a crucial giveaway, no, it's not. It is actually mirror carp. Wow, this is a beautiful fish. We have another strong contestant. And this seems like a carp. But I wouldn't say it seems like a gibble carp or a crucian carp. This seems more like another mirror maybe. Or maybe a common carp. Show yourself to me already. And it is a common. It's actually a pretty decent common to be honest. Okay, I need to use my net I think. Yeah, definitely gotta use the net. Hey, almost 3 kilos. I'm not sure what kind of a fish this is. And I'm not really sure if I want to know. I think this is going to spool me out. Unless I just walk around the lake with it. But uh, this is trouble. This is big trouble. Well, never mind. I just keep hooking into common carp and mirrors. This is so odd. But... Uh, oh, actually a gibble carp and a pretty decent one. 700 grams. A random bream. How? Why? This is a star from our last episode. Another common. I think I should uh, switch out the bait. This semolina is not doing me good. It's doing me pretty dirty right now. Let's see, how much silver did we make from one night? So from the gibble order, we will get actually five silver. It's a pretty bad order, but five is better than nine cents. And from here, we will get actually nine silver. And for the roach order, let's see if we can fill this in. We get ten silver, yeah. Easy. And the rest of the keep net is worth 40 silver, so in total we made 64 silver in one night. To keep away all the common and mirror carbs, I'm actually going to try now with sweet dough. And also, I'm switching spots. For the sweet dough, you need wheat flour, milk and sugar, so it won't be anything too expensive. The new spot I'm trying is at 52.52. For the bait, I will use sweet dough and wet bread, clip size 8, hook size 8. I saw this spot on RF forums and uh, it's supposed to be extremely extremely active so let's see if it's the truth i'm not sure if throwing in extra ground bait does something but i'm going to do it just because i can let's see what this is it is a white bream wow almost 700 grams 800 is a trophy and a nice kibble carp 700 grams another nice kibble this is well over a kilo i think 1.5 and a roach wow this spot is actually super active. So let's see. I think this is not a gibble or crucian. It's, uh, seem, it seems like a decent one. Nice. Another good one on. I think the good ones are biting in the middle of the night. So it's the best time to be fishing here right now. 1.1. And this is another nice one. I just want to say this spot is extremely active. I'm super glad I found this spot. I think we will make a lot of money from here and possibly get our trophies as well. Oh, this is a big gibble carp. 1.3. Not bad. Okay, this thing is trying to steal my rod. Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if the resistance uh, will be like this the whole time. Because if it will, then 
it could be a trophy. Yeah. Oh no, no. It let go too early. But this is a big fish. I think this is close to a trophy, maybe. 1.7. 26 silver in total for Roach, Crucian, and Gibble orders, and 74 for the whole keep net. This is 100 silver in one night. That is super good. I think we have hooked into a trophy fish. I'm not sure, but I've been fighting with this for quite some time, and it looks big. Oh, it's big. I think this could be a trophy. Or maybe not. I'm, I'm not sure about the model, actually. Let's see. Come on. Oh my god. That right there was 34 grams off the trophy size. How unlucky. If I only would have known at that point that this fish will be the closest I will get to a trophy for days. 37 silver in total for Crucian, Cafe Orders, 5 for Gibble, 10 for Roach, and for the whole keep net we got 72 silver. So in total we made 124 silver in just one night. This is the closest I've had to a trophy fish in a long time and it's not even that close. I keep getting these 1 kilo fish, 1.3, 1.6 but nothing big. But it doesn't mean that the cash ain't good, right? Because we made another 84 silver this evening and I was AFK for quite some time, so we missed out on some silver. This feels like another well-fed fish. I think this one has been nibbling on the carpet. Let's see, ooh, it's a gibble. It's a big one, but not a trophy. And it's, um, it's 1.67, pretty close to a trophy. This is 1.1. And let's see how big is this fish. It's another decent one. 1.1. Okay, I think I caught two brothers. Unfortunately, I had to stop fishing in the middle of the night, but we still made 57 silver. Just look at our cash stack going up. We have so much spare cash already, but uh, yeah, we will use that up so quickly though. We will mostly start using up our cash for leveling up some skills, probably buying some gear. I would really like to have a picker rod and a nice reel. I don't know why, but I just want a picker rod. I think I will probably get picker rod before a carp rod. I'm switching my tactics. I'm switching over to night crawlers because with the sweet dough and wet bread, I keep getting fish close to trophy size, but not trophy size. And for the hook size, now I will use hook size six. A perch. Hmm. And this is another perch. I switched back to Simolina, sweet dough and wet bread because night crawlers, they were just catching perch after perch and I don't really need that. This is a nice big fish with Simolina. So this actually looks very close to another trophy size once again. 100 grams of trophy size. Oh, this just hurts. It really, really hurts. This guy just tried to take my rod and literally run with it because my friction brake was just uh, too high up. I'm glad it actually did not break me off. As you can see, I can put it on max 26 right now. Otherwise, um, yeah, this will break. Let's hope I'm not going to lose this fish as well like I've done already in this video twice. This seems like a very solid fish. I'm not sure if it's uh, a carp or a tench maybe, or maybe even an eye. Maybe I caught an eye from this spot. No, I, no clue. I think going to the dock actually saved me. The fish was going into the middle of the lake and this way it can spool me out, but now it's back under the bridge. So it is pretty much stuck down there. So I'm really happy I decided to move. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my rod this way. So it tries to go into the opposite way. I'm getting so low on energy. I need to eat some bread and drink some tea. Otherwise, I'm never getting this fish out of the water. It is still going strong after I don't know how many minutes, but it's still going extremely strong. Just give up already, please. Oh no, it's going to the middle of the lake. This is not good news. This fish better get tired now or I am screwed. Yes, he's out of energy. I guess he did not have tea and bread. What kind of fish is this? Can't really see. Oh, well, let's see. Come to the surface now. Ooh, it's a common carp. Well, what did I expect while putting on Simolina again? This is my own fault, really. But this looks like a pretty decent carb. Oh, almost 5 kilos. That's my personal best fish so far. That is cool. I actually really like that. What a fun fight. This carp is actually worth quite a bit, so that's cool. And we made in total 53 million dollars. I'm gonna get some new hooks. Size 1 this time. So, I've tried with 8 and 6. Now it's time for size 1. First decent fish with size 1 hook. I'm not going to lie, the bite rate with size 6 and 8 were absolutely amazing. With size 1, it's... Uh, it's not the best, let's say that, but it seems like the average size of the fish has gone up. Let's see how big this is. Oh, this is very nice fish. Swing it in. Ooh, a sudden crucian carp as well, 1.5 kilos. Maybe we can actually even snag a crucian trophy from this spot now with size one hook and wet bread. 
by the way, this guy took wet bread. Another day, another inventory, 43 silver exactly. That is precise. When I started going for Gibble Crucian Trophy, I thought this is going to be easy. One day, two days max. It's been like 15 days now at least. This looks like a pig. This is a trophy, I think for sure. This is this is a pig. Unless it's a tank, then I'm yeah, then I'm screwed once again, but this one is fighting very hard. Come on, show yourself. Who are you? Oh, it's a gibble. I saw it through the reeds. Please be a trophy. Please, I beg you. I'm done with this spot. It's not a trophy. Well, on a positive side, it's a good fish at least. Oh, 60 grams off the trophy. Hey, but the grind continues because this is a very good way to make money. And I'm not complaining about that at all. And this seems like another decent fish. Oh, it's a big crucian. Let's see how big this is. 1.5 kilos. That is a lovely crucian. We have some cafe orders to fill in once again. 10 silver for crucians, 30 silver for gibbles, and 85 for the whole keep net. In total, this comes to 125 silver in one night. I moved to this spot to see maybe I'll get lucky. Fast forward, I was not lucky. This spot is only good for perch. And by that I mean very good for perch. I decided to move over to 5289 because this spot actually has granted me a few trophies in the past. Maybe I'll get lucky once again. Let me tell you something you were not expecting. It's a perch. Yep. Let's see what kind of fish this is. It's another perch. This seems like a big one though. Ooh, 1.3 kilos. Nice. In conclusion, if you want to catch perch, come to these two spots and use night crawlers. Once the sun started to rise, I started catching some other fish. As you can see right now on the screen, we have a gibble carbon, but also once again on sweet though. This is a solid fish. I don't know what this is yet, but uh, it's a crucian. It's a massive crucian actually. Let's see how big this is. 16 grams off a trophy. This game hates me. Money, money, money. We have another pig on. This is a tough fish to battle. I'm trying to reel in this elusive fish, but man, is it strong and determined to outplay me. But at the end, we know who's going to win. It's going to be the angler. We are smarter. At least I'd like to think so. Imagine if fighting the fish would be this difficult in real life, because I don't think this is a massive fish, but it's it's a strong one. So possibly a tench spot, because I've only had luck with carp right now on Semolina, but I have no clue. It is finally giving up, and it looks like a tench. I know tench over 2 kilos are pretty good silver, so yeah, I guess I won the battle. Let's try to put it on the land. Look at this fish. It's an absolute beauty. It's just wheelbarrowing down. Okay, let's net this fish before it gets off. 2.4. After spending a few more days at the last spot, I decided to move because I was not getting lucky with the trophies. And with my past experience over here, this is a trophy spot for sure. So for the bait, I'll use wet bread again and sweet dough. Clip size 10, 9 and 8. I'm trying all three different clip sizes. Still hook size will be size 1. Spot, as you can see, is... 45.74. Let's see if we are going to be lucky finally. And this is a tench, a small one. A new catch is on the line. This time it's a crucian that's close to being a trophy sized fish, I think. Pig. An absolute pig. Okay, just kidding. This is a medium sized gibble. But once again, new spot. Well, basically the same spot, but the different angle. And I know. Somewhere deep inside of me, I know this is the spot where we get the trophy. And it will be also a gibble trophy. This is a good sign. Decent sized fish. 1.6. Lovely. Holy mackerel, what is this? Look at it go. It's like an F1 car. I'm not sure if... Uh I'm not sure if my feeder kit is uh, well suited enough for this fish, because this is like a torpedo. It's just pooling and nothing goes. I'm gonna get the other fish out before and then recast this. Hopefully we won't lose a fish on the first rod. 700 grams, definitely worth it. Let's keep fighting. This fish is taking me across the map, I swear to god. This is just going and going and I'm just trying to stay behind it so it doesn't spool me out. As you can see, I have less than half of the line left. And it's not looking good. It is not looking good at all. We need to do some tactical maneuvering and make it go towards the bridge and not to the opposite side of the lake. Because that side of the lake, that's the side of disaster. I put the fish to sleep. It is tired. It's coming into my keep net and I will sell it to the best bitter on the market. Took so much of my time to get this fish out. And it wasn't even that big. Seems like another slow fish, maybe crucial or gibble. Doesn't seem like the biggest fish. I mean, it's going well, but uh, knowing my luck, I don't think this is another trophy. It's just something that's holding on to the bottom for a long time. Or maybe it's even a bream, because you know what kind of fish I catch. 
I go for Crucians, Gibbles, I get regular carp, I get Tench, I get Roach, I get random bream from the small tiny creek. What is this? Is this a Crucian? No, I mean, is this a Gibble? Wait, this is a Gibble? Wait, is this a trophy fish? I think this is a trophy fish. No way. I think that we actually caught a trophy fish. Oh my god. It took me so long to do it. It's finally in front of me. And barely a trophy fish. Just just 18 grams over the trophy size. Oh, I am so relieved. We can move on to a new fish, to a new adventure. But this wasn't a bad grind. We made so much money. In total, we now have four trophy fish and two unique trophies. I am so glad filling this spot. Super happy about it. Another picture, another fish added to the collection log and look at the cash tag. We are pretty much rich for our level right now. Only level 13 with this much money. I feel like a billionaire, I'm not going to lie. I feel like a billionaire. Also, I was able to fill in a cafe order and to keep Nettie's word 124 silver. What a good night. Now I feel even richer. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm really glad you joined me on this adventure. In the next episode, we are going to a different body of water and catch something totally different and in a different size scale. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>